Now, U.S. President Joe Biden and President-elect Donald Trump met at the Oval Office to begin transfer of power after Trump won the 2024 elections in historic comeback. On meeting, Biden told Trump that he looked forward to a smooth transition in January, assuring his predecessor he would make sure he was properly accommodated when he retakes the White House. Future First Lady Melania Trump was not part of this customary meet, a point that was majorly noted by some. Now, listen in to what the Biden and Trump meet looked like by my colleague uh, Jessica Stone reports more. Well, Mr. President elect and the former president and Donald, congratulations. And uh, looking forward to having a, like we said, smooth transition. Do everything we can to make sure you're accommodated, what you need. And we're going to get a chance to talk about some of that today. So, Good. Welcome. welcome Thank you. Back. Thank you very much. And, uh, politics is tough, and it's, uh, in many cases, not a very nice world, but it is a nice world today, and I appreciate it very much. And a transition that's so smooth, it'll be as smooth as it can get, and uh, I very much appreciate that, Jim. You're welcome. President Joe Biden welcomed incoming President Donald Trump back to the Oval Office, shaking his hand in front of a roaring fire, the two exchanging comments about a peaceful transition of power, Joe Biden offering his administration's help in that effort, saying he'll do whatever he can to make for a smooth transition. Trump responding that politics is a tough game and said that he appreciated the efforts that Biden is making. Now, Melania, Trump's wife, was noticeably absent from this exchange. She did not come to the White House with Trump, Trump coming alone and gre being greeted by Dr. Jill Biden and President Joe Biden. Dr. Jill Biden did give him a letter, handwritten, to Melania, congratulating her on her win and welcoming her to the White House. Meantime, Trump continues to nominate more loyalists to his cabinet. Those include Pete Hegseth to the defense secretary position. He's a former Fox News host. We also know that Christy Nome has been nominated, a South Dakota governor who campaigned with the president, uh, and she has been nominated to the position of Homeland Security Chief. And Congressman Mike Waltz, a former Green Beret and a Republican congressman, has been named to the position of National Security Advisor. VOA asked him about ending the Ukraine war just a few minutes ago here on Capitol Hill, and he responded, quote, the president has been very clear in terms of getting both sides to the table and ending the war.